All right, so that is the summit of Piestua Peak or Piestua Peak. I have never recorded this, so I'm starting to run out of content to post. So I figured why not just record the whole hike? This is such a popular hike. I'll do Camelback both ways um, probably next week because I'm going out of town tomorrow. So I'm not gonna push this if I were doing it for time or if I wasn't recording because um, I want to talk too. Plus it's 100 degrees and I've been sort of sick. I, uh, since I got back from Hawaii, last week I guess last well I guess it's been almost a week um, I felt like crap I also haven't worked out and I've ate like crap basically been eating pizza and ice cream so I need to get with it I got some big hikes this weekend up in the Pacific Northwest so uh, won't be too crowded because it's noon on a Tuesday. Ooh. I'm also wearing my backup. Pulsar trails, which I don't really like. They sort of hurt my Achilles when I go steeply uphill. I just don't wanna, I've shredded basically two pairs of speed cross fives in the last four months or so, four to five months. So trying to save them a little bit. So this hike, goes up about 1150 feet in I mean it depends sort of where you start but in about 1.1 miles or 1.15 miles so call it a thousand foot a mile it's very similar in stats at least to Camelback which is close by I like Camelback better. It's a different type of rock. There's more diversity. You get to climb on rocks a little bit. This is just these sharp, jagged rocks. And uh, it's just like stair stepper the entire way. There's no like bouldering <coughs> sort of camelback you can make it your own adventure you can go off the trail climb around the rocks go to some little caves you know stuff like that this is uh not that way although i'm planning to i've said this since the winter i want to do i'm not going to do it today because i got errands to run but uh, there's a loop around called the Freedom Trail, I believe. So a lot of times I'll summit and then I'll do the loop around and then I'll summit again or something like that. But uh, on the back side of the Freedom Trail, when you hit the saddle back there at the high point, I've always wanted to just scramble up this peak off trail. Um, I'm sure someone's done it before. I haven't really tried to research it, but it seems easy enough. And I can tell whatever mucus and cough I have is affecting my brain.
can see it's just a lot of it'll get bigger the steps but it's a lot of big steps Ooh. this is so much better for you than going to the gym and doing the stair stepper because one you can't use the railings it's my biggest pet peeve when people at the gym do the stair stepper and they hold on it just completely defeats the purpose of lifting your body weight through a vertical displacement so hiking's better in that regard it's more varied terrain you also get the downhills which i think do a lot for your stabilizer muscles for your tendons ligaments all sorts of stuff so hiking to me is just like such a good cardio workout it's obviously not working your upper body you'd have to you know swim or i guess do the elliptical to get cardio where you're engaging the full musculature but uh anyway that's my rant More people than I thought for summer midday on a Tuesday. Hey. Yeah, these shoes, anytime I step like at a tough angle, they hurt. I don't know if they don't flex as good. Like my Achilles already hurting wearing these. This video shouldn't be too long. Probably be. Actually, I don't even want to guess. I feel like I'm not moving too quickly. Hey. Great. I've done this in under 17 before up. That was like me in really good shape, cool weather in the winter, like actually pushing it. Like I would run like this section right here. This would be joggable if I were pushing it. You know, this could very well be 23 or 24 minutes today. I don't know. I didn't bring my phone, but you'll see based on the video length. So it'll be a surprise. I should make a prediction. Whew. Yeah, we'll go ahead and say 23.30. But I rarely do this. There's Camelback out there. I do Camelback probably 10 times more often than this, if not more. I can check my spreadsheet, but I'd venture I've done PS to a, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 times in the past four years, but I've probably done Camelback, you know, several hundred, if I had to guess. You can see just very rocky and jagged. So if you're not used to this, you're visiting 
from Florida or something on vacation and doing this, it'll be different than what you've done. Because most people, when they think hiking, they think like nice dirt, nice dirt trail, not like sharp rocks. So it's just a little different. In other words, it just slows you down a little bit because you can't walk super smoothly. Ooh. Ah. Stick to the dirt right here. Maybe I'll see a snake. Great. Ooh. I believe we popped through a rocky little saddle notch here. Yeah. Ooh. Little downhill. First of the day. There's another little baby downhill like that, higher up. So we're looking west. This is another sort of flatter section where you can either jog or just recover. There's a couple sections like that that are relatively flatter. Not for long though. I didn't put sunscreen on because this is only going to be, you know, 40 minutes or so. Ah, uh, I don't know why I'm saying, ah, oh, there's no wind. It's warm. I wish there were some wind. So for any of you guys who've been watching, I'm almost done posting all my content from the last, since May 2021, is when I started recording hikes, Memorial Day in Capitol Reef. I still have to post the John Muir Trail which is a big, will be a big editing job from the summer 2021. And I only have a couple more hikes from Iceland to post. And then I'm out. I'm out of old stuff to edit. So there will not be as many videos. You know, some days I'm posting five to 10 a day, almost every day for the past six weeks. I've been posting stuff. It's not going to be like that. It'll be like one a week, maybe. So, which is normal. But if any of you guys are watching, local Phoenix people, Scottsdale people, please subscribe. I feel like I have better hiking content than anyone else out there. I do longer, harder hikes all over the place more often. So, I appreciate any support as I try to grow the channel. Right now through six weeks, I'm at 330 subs. Need to get to 1,000. And I'm at about 2,000 watch hours. So I'm already halfway to the 4,000 watch hour goal. Man, I am just, just not feeling it right now. Normally I'd be prancing up this <laughs> with a pep in my step. There is no pep right now. Ah. <clears throat> We're over halfway up. Uh, 
little bench here. If any of you guys need to take a rest, it's a good spot. Any of you locals ever want to hike, would love to hike with people. Do almost everything solo. <sighs> yeah, my calves and my Achilles are just burning. And they don't when I wear the other shoes. So I'm blaming it on the shoes. where it starts to get big steps. Burn is real. It's my legs, not my breathing. Ideally, it should be the other way around. Whew. I want to see a snake. This is brutally slow. Sorry. Sorry, I touched the railing there. Cheating. It's a mini, mini little shortcut here. Probably doesn't save 
anytime. I just like stepping up on the rock. Woo! Got some wind. Here's our second mini down. Whew. Man, I am struggling. Struggle bus. Two paths here. I took the higher one. There's the other one. in here all right we're on the big stairway and then we'll branch right there's a flag that flag is the summit so we're 85 90 percent of the way up it's a lot of steps here switchback and the steps <clears throat> and now well you could go up here I think I already messed up I wanted to go up over there oh well You can continue around if you want. Most people go to that fake summit on the left. I would obviously prefer to go to the real summit. And it might actually be left. This might be a new way up. Yeah, I went up a different way. I've never gone up this way. Hopefully it's not too sketchy. Oh, yeah, see, it popped up on the wrong side. Just fine. So anyway, we're at the summit block. Yippee! No one else up here. <sighs> so again, looking west to the white tanks. Downtown. The Estrellas. South Mountain. Camelback. It's really... It's really hazy. And then, uh... Four Peaks, Superstitions out there, the McDowell's, you can see Tom's Thumb. Ah, so that's it. That was a full hike. That probably was slower than my 2330 if I had to guess. But I don't know. I need to get back. I need to get better. I need to start eating cleaner, which I have not for a whole week plus makes a difference so anyway i'm not going to record on the way down that was piestua or piestua peak formerly known as squall peak 